Hello, assalamu alaikum. So I hope everybody is that's watching is having a good day or good night or whatever time it is wherever you are. So I'm making this video in hopes to get some positive feedback from hopefully other Muslim women in the world and just tell my story a little bit. Watching a lot of the YouTube videos online from other Muslim women has helped me throughout my journey to um, continue with my, you know, religion and get a stronger faith and not feel as discouraged as this world makes you. So, to start from the beginning, I had gotten married a few months ago and I took my Shahada and I would have classified myself as Christian prior to becoming Muslim. And to me, I never knew much about being Christian. I just thought, I always believed in God, so I just would have classified myself as Christian. I didn't know much about it, didn't know much about the Bible, I knew it was there, I knew God, Moses, Muhammad, things like that. But then after taking my Shahada, I realized you have to learn a lot of things. You have to read a lot of books, and you have to wear the hijab, and wear long sleeve shirts, and you know, a lot of things that you don't do in modern day society. So, after be first becoming Muslim, I didn't want to wear the hijab. My husband never really told me you have to wear the hijab. He never pressured me or anything like that. So I, I started wearing it little by little. I'd wear it to the grocery store and wear it to my family's house, but I never wanted to wear it to work. I said I'll wear it everywhere I go, but not to work. And then I started realizing, you know, that the things that you put before Allah, Allah may use against you. So I said, I'm going to just wear it to work. And you get 70 times more blessings every time you wear it outside. And me personally, I need all the blessings I can get. So if all I have to do is wear this beautiful garment outside and get blessings, why not? So originally, um, when I first put it on, I didn't understand what impact it would bring. And all the all the changes I, I would um, encounter in my everyday life. So when I started my job, I was not Muslim. I did not wear my hijab. And then months later, out of nowhere, I get married and I just show up to work in a hijab. And everybody's like, what is that? What are you wearing? What's going on? And I just kind of explained, you know, I got married and took my shahada and things like that. So a few people kind of took it as a negative thing. And I kind of had to understand, I don't have to explain it to everybody. Not everybody is going to get it. Not everybody is going to care. Not everybody is even going to respect that. So just tell them a little bit and that'll be enough. So anyway, right as of recently, I've been having a tough time thinking like, am I smart enough? and things like that. I was never brought up to like read a lot or learn a lot. I always loved TV and a lot of the haram things in this world and things like that. So I'm just wondering like, I know there's not a certain point or place in time where you're supposed to be where you are. So I was just thinking like, I don't know anything about speaking Arabic or reading Arabic. I mean, I know a little bit here and there. I know a few of the letters of the alphabet and a few sayings and expressions to get me through a little bit of a conversation. But I seen this video earlier of this Muslim girl saying like, um, if you're Muslim, like go into it slowly. And I, I've seen that a lot throughout the, on the internet. And I seen her say like, um, take years, you know, to learn about it before fully committing to it. And I thought, you know, being married to my husband who is so far into his religion and things like that, I kind of want to just like catch up to him and learn everything I can and just be very, very involved and gain all the knowledge I can now. But um, it is a little bit much. Obviously, there's a lot of things going on in people's lives, like mine. I'm trying to learn many things. Um, aside from being Muslim and gathering information about that that um, community. So, um, back to my story a little bit. When I first became Muslim, I didn't realize what an impact it would have about, around, about those around me. Like when I first saw my mom. She right away kind of crossed it off and judged it for something negative. You know, because if you just take it for everything you see online and everything you see on the news, you'll think something terrible. 
you think, why are you wearing that? Why are you covering up? Are you depressed? Are you oppressed? Are they forcing you to do this? Like, it's a cult, people, you know, just a bunch of crazy things. However, it's not like that. When I did a lot of the research, I realized everything is good. You know, you just want to be a good person. You're just taught to do good things, be kind to your neighbor, um, not to curse, and just a lot of things are different. So, in where I live in America, I was always, I always had freedom. I never knew what it was like not to have freedom. My husband has traveled to a lot of places in the world that I have never been. I've never been outside of America my whole life. So I never knew what it was like to not have freedom. And he told me, you know, people don't have freedom. Not everybody has freedom. And I had no idea what that could be like to not have freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, just any kind of freedom out there. I never, never understood that. So then when I became Muslim and I started wearing my hijab all over, I started getting a lot of stares and I would get a lot of comments here and there. I would just be walking down the street to the store, just getting in my car and people would be like looking at me all funny and I didn't even notice like why are these people looking at me like that. But first of all, people don't see Muslims every day and people might not see white Muslims every day. Maybe that's just in my head or maybe it really is this day and age you know people just don't understand everything they don't do the proper research before they judge everything in this world so pretty much I'm just putting this video out there in hopes to help another um, any other Muslim women that are maybe not as strong into their faith and they're not really sure if they're smart enough or good enough because you are and I'm just hoping that I can get some positive feedback from a lot of Muslim women in hopes to broaden my Muslim community and gather more information as far as speaking Arabic and reading and just the everyday things it takes to be Muslim. And to just let the world know that it's not bad. It's not. It's not a cult. You know, we're not forced to wear things that we don't want to wear. I choose every day to put this on, and nobody, nobody's making me do anything I don't want to do. This is all my choice, and I couldn't be happier to be a part of something so beautiful. When you read the Quran and you learn the 99 names of Allah, if you want to be closer to God, or if you just want to learn anything about the religion, look up the 99 names of Allah. I promise you. It will definitely make you, if not cry, just have a greater respect for God and Allah and the Muslim religion in general. When I watch that and I just see how great my God is, I'm just like, wow, how, how lucky am I, you know, to be chosen into something so beautiful, to have somebody like that um, to look up to and to guide me and things like that. So... Inshallah, I will get um, good feedback from this video and hopefully get a few more Muslim women as friends. And I know this is going to strike a few negative comments because this world is just that, this world. So anyhow, thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you soon, Inshallah. Okay, assalamu alaikum. Bye.